genotype We gotta make some memories, let's live it up tonight Cause we gonna make this place the furriest of all time We'll shake up fuzzy tails, you know that's what I like And then we'll hit the rave and stay there till it's daylight And I ain't get no sleep, why would I even try? Cause when I'm at a cut, I know I'll have the time of my life to do this. Well, they said that I look like a national celebrity. Can, can you put it up on the screen for me real quick over here, guys? Yeah. <laughs> the, the likeness is uncanny. I really think it is. Whew. Okay, but also one other thing real quick that, oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, one other thing real quick that we're asking people to do. Um, how many people have a, uh, have a nice uh, smartphone? Okay, no, no. Who wouldn't admit it if their lives depended on it? All right. So what we're asking people to do, if you're if you're here, obviously, we're going to ask you to go to the website and go to um, 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 not very paw friendly. Uh, hey, blue. Do this. Okay. So, thanks. We're done. No, 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 no. no. I've, I've heard stories about this guy. Oh, yeah. I know better. But go to sked.furfest.org and let everybody know that you're at the coolest show of the night. At least it's my opinion on that, so I'm gonna check in right now. Meanwhile, uh, we got a lot of acts to get to tonight. Uh, what to do, huh? Pocket that for a second. We got a lot of acts to get to tonight, so our next act. Fancy. Uh, you need to know his name. Furry. Special Agent. James Furry. 004.
Smell your soul. 
こしやね。うんうん
Because your plank is super effective. That, that's what the kids say, right? I, I don't play the, 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 the pocket man. I don't, I don't play video games. Okay, I'm bad, I know. I know. Well, okay, okay. Yay! Does Mario Kart count as a video game? Yes. yes. Oh, then I guess I play video games. Am I cool now? Does, does Twitch Pay Pokemon count as a video game? Still, so kind of, sort of, maybe. All right, good to go? All right. Our next act kind of scares me a little bit. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, Vox Fox. How do you do? Good evening. I'm going to do a little song about a lascivious wolf who's uh, walking along Little Red Riding Hood and trying to mind his manners. Uh, if you know the song, uh, there's some wolf howls in it. Uh, join in when they come in. Hey. Who's that I see walking in these woods? Why, it's Little Red Riding Hood.
Tracy. You know, she reminded me when, uh, I'll come over here for a change. I haven't talked to you people yet. How are you guys doing? Good con so far? Yeah. Not I'm okay. hungover. What's that? I'm hungover. You're hungover. Yeah. All right. Well, no. People have been hungover since like Thursday. Yes. Yes. Oh. Last week. Yes. <sighs> I thought you said you needed more time than that. I was going to show them my magic wand. Audience applaud a kiss. <laughs> see? see? No, 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 no. You can They're not here to see time. me. They're here to see everybody else. Work with me. <laughs> we're, we're, we're good, we're good. Alright. Our next act, a young wolf named Pippin and his granny wolf, a fun-loving Omega wolf. Granny wants everyone to sing along. So if you know the song, sing along with uh, Major. I've had 
troubles and tears by the score.
Well then, you've already registered, got your hotel room and your roommates? Great! All you need to do is get packed for your first convention. Packing for your first convention can be scary at first, but it's easy to follow a few simple guidelines. First thing you're going to need to know is how long you're going to be at the convention for. Slow down there. The convention might only be for three days, but you'll need to pack for six. Well, it's simple. One day to travel, three days at the convention, one day to travel home, and you're going to get an extra day just in case you're trapped on the highway somewhere, lost and alone, and need fresh underpants. So, pick something sufficient to pack into. You're going to need something a lot bigger than that. A little bigger, too. Keep going. There you go. Now, the most important question. Suitor. Well, you're going to need to pack your fursuit first. When packing your suit, make sure that you're careful not to crush the head nor the feet, and make sure the body suit is clean and brushed. You may even consider bringing a spare brush with you to make it look perfect. Next, being a fursuiter, you're going to need at least three sets of clothing per day. Well, it's simple. You want to be in suit for a lot of the convention. Wouldn't it be good to have clean clothing to put on? Well, then, you're going to need one set for the afternoon, one set for the evening, and one set for the late evening, because nobody gets up in the morning at a furry convention. So, being simple now, you'll need 12 t-shirts, 12 pairs of socks, and 12 sets of undergarments, and one pair of pants. Just wear the same pair that you came in with. Nobody's going to know the difference. <laughs> now, make sure you pack your hygiene kit. After all, you don't want to be that furry, right? Well, then, bring lots of soap. I know what you're going to ask. Doesn't the hotel provide soap? Well, how many people do you have in your room? Well, that little bar of soap won't go very far, so make sure you bring some of your own, as well as some hair care products. Sorry, no pun intended. Deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, shaving gear should brown things out this nicely. And don't forget the most important of all your supplies. Just make sure you enjoy it all in moderation. <laughs> well, now we have everything packed, it's time to load it up into your vehicle. But you are driving to the event, aren't you? Are you flying it? Taking the train? sanity of the rest of the convention. You might want to write this down. Body spray is now showing again! I said, I said it, I feel better. Come on, you know it too. Okay, our next act. Uh, how do you describe this? I don't think I can. They challenge me to describe this act and I simply cannot. I'd like to present to you Cody with scales. Chi Chi, Cody with scales and bones.
Our next speaker is a PhD in feline phrenology and is an expert in large cats. Please welcome Empty Shadow. Everybody. I'm Empty Shadow, and I'm a pretty kitty. It's true. Friends, furries, countrymen, lend me your ears, because today I am going to discuss an important matter, a subject that many shy away from. Though some might see this as common sense, I have felt the need to use this platform to reach out to those who may not know or are confused. I hold this truth to be self-evident that stripes are better than spots. <laughs> ago was the last time spots were in fashion. <laughs> the itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini was worn for the first and last time that day. But now, however, stripes continue to be a popular staple in the industry well known for the ability to make you more appealing, whether your goal is to look taller or even more broad. They even help someone as unappealing as a prisoner stand out in a crowd. <laughs> Stripes even look great on cars, often turning a normal vehicle into one that looks ready to race. Stripes are a matter of pride, a show of strength. Even in the military, you earn your stripes. More stripes means more power and more responsibility. And in their own right, stripes are a phallic symbol. On the other hand, Spots represent sickness and disease. They are often unwanted, blemishes or even stains. Spot remover sales are at an all-time high. As Shakespeare would say, out damn spot. Unfortunately for some, they were not created with stripes. But I have a dream that those willing can have a cure for the spotted menace. It is a game that we all played as children called Connect the Dots. <laughs> And we turn them into stripes. So in conclusion, cats are better than dogs. Foxes are always bottoms. <laughs> that I am a neutral party in all of this because I have neither. <laughs> Any other otters out there? Anybody? 
No otters at all. I'm the only otter. Okay, how many otter jokes do you think I should crank? I should crank out of that one here. Uh, let's see, I'm the otter one. It's utterly ridiculous. Didn't that MC do the, do the whole fish thing last year? Uh, Whatever. <sighs> I should, maybe I should also mention that the opinions, or the, the, the opinions expressed by a certain stripy cat do not express those of Midwest Fur Fest. We love our spotted brethren and sisters. Nothing. Okay. You like him, but you don't like him. Get some stripes. Get some stripes. Okay. We'll go with that. All right. Okay, so for our next act, we have actually a quartet for your enjoyment. And uh, they are going to sing good enough. <laughs> Do I, do I need to have a beer in my hand as I do this too? Pop my collar? Now you can't see my eyes, ha! Huh? So they're, they will be singing Good Enough? Oh, the song Good Enough. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Fur Rhythmics. fandom is a very, very special group of people to all of us, and tonight we'd like to really express just what you all mean to us through song. We hope you enjoy. Oh, I couldn't live a single day without you, without you. Actually, on second thought, well, I believe I surely would. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, honey, you're the greatest. Well, at any rate, I guess you're pretty good. Pretty good. Now it seems to me I'm relatively lucky. I don't work. I know my too much, not much more. I honestly can say you're an above average furry. Yes, you're almost just what I've been looking for. Looking for, you know, you're sort of everything I've ever wanted. Yes, you are. You're not perfect, but I love you anyhow. Bum, bum, you're, you're the
we should shift away from music for just a little bit here. Well, we have Eric Adler. I got a cheat sheet. Eric Adler, Mountain, Mountain Blue, Fox, and and all and, that. Oh, all that. And North Paw. Why am I holding it? Where am I going? Okay. Enjoying the trade show? Yeah, all right. These things are boring as heck. Not like those fan conventions. I hear you. It's gotten so lame since they got rid of the boost bunnies. By the way, I'm Max Volta, electrical engineer. Pleasure. Dakota Nero, mechanical engineer. Eric Adler. You could call me a chemical engineer. So, what do you want to talk about? Why do we need to talk? We're taking a break from dealing with the vendors. We'd be so starved for entertainment. They'd care what we have to say. Uh. <laughs> anyway, what sort of engineer do you think God is? Sorry, just here for the tech, not the church. I didn't mean it like that. Let me rephrase. If God exists, and he used engineering to design the humanoid body, what type of engineer would you say he is? That's easy. He's a mechanical engineer. Just look at all the joints and levers. But what about the miles of wiring in the nervous system? He's clearly an electrical engineer. Dad is a civil engineer. <laughs> Okay, so how is God a chemical and... Wait, did you say civil? Who else would run a toxic waste pipe through the middle of a recreational area? <laughs> Jackman? Stripes, and I would like to share with you the most amazing book. Hello, my name is Furry Wolf. It's a book about our fandom a long, long time ago. It has so many awesome parts, you simply won't believe how much this book can change your life. Hello, my name is Furry Raj. I would like to share with you this book of furry life. Hello, my name is Furry Yoke. How did you know that furries live here in the USA? You can read all about it now. Hello, in this nifty book, it's free. No, you don't have to pay. Hello, hello, my name is Furry Eric, and can I leave this book with you for you to just peruse? Hello, hello, hello. I'll just leave it here. It has a lot of information you can really use. Hello. Hi. My name is Sorry Love. You have a lovely home. Hello. It's an amazing book. Bonjour. Oh, Meow. Meow. Furry stripes. Oh, geez, your kid. This book gives you the secret to the furry life. The furry life. The furry life. It's super fun. Hello. Keep going. And if you let us, we'll show you how it can be done. No, thank you. Sure. Oh, well. That's fun. Goodbye. Have fun in hell. Hey, now. You simply won't believe how much this book will change your life. This book will change your life. This book will change your life. Hello. Would you like to change species? I have a free book written by a giant stuffed animal. No, no, Lucifer Fox. That's not how we do it. You're making things up again. Just stick to the approved dialogue. Furries, shut up. Hello. My name is Lucifer Fox. And we would like to share with you this book of furry life. Hello. Hello. Hi, Paul. Just take this book. It's free. For you. For me, you see. 
simply won't believe how much this book will change your life. This book will change your life, so you won't burn it. Sodio? Thank you. Uh, Lucifer Fox and Raj, thank you guys very much. Okay, uh, we're coming towards the end of the night here, unfortunately. That's, that's your cue to go, oh. Aww. Let's try that one more time. We're coming here close, close to the end of the night, unfortunately. Yay! <laughs> it's one of those crowds, okay. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they're kind of new the whole uh, MC thing, so they told me that there's a traditional way they like to close the show. So, uh, uh, they, they, got a whole, they got the band together? You got it together? Okay, they're nodding backstage. I'll just let them do their thing. Go ahead. It's all you. I distinctly apologize for that. I think we should have something that's actually good. Ladies and gentlemen, Amadia. All right, guys, hit it.
huskies too. We're trying to hide our playful side. What kind of tail have you? Has your tail got spots? I can't hear you. Has your tail got stripes? Yeah. Come on, prove to me that your tail is awesome enough to be a fashion after we get turned down from the variety show and set up for the EDM swing show dance, we've got some music the likes of which this world has never heard before. You see, we started with electro swing, but that wasn't good enough for the, oh, us, oh no. Well, there's some a little bit of electro swing in there, yes. But we ratcheted that up about eight or nine valence shells to make an uh, EDM swing. So come on out, shake your tails, have a lot of fun, and it's a charity concert. We're gonna have fursuits dancing, you can vote for your favorite fursuit, and they'll get a prize from the musicians. We got Fox and more, we got Eludai, we got myself. So come on back here. Take care. All right. So really quickly, this was the end of the show, unfortunately, so it's my duty to say thank you for coming. Uh, a couple things I do want to mention very quickly, because every time these people see me after the show, they're like, hey, you put on a great show, and I'm like, no. I'm just the end of C. You don't see the, uh, the people behind me and the people in front of me that are holding me up over here. In this alphabetical order, we have Abigail Weinman as our backstage support, Bill on AV staff, Blue Healer is one of our state ninjas prop masters, Candace Kate is our dead mom, Foxworth, Husker Chef, Jeff Bingo, the AV guys all the way back there. Um, Kyle Kellen, our been a lot of backstage support. Uh, Ratchet on EV staff. Robert King is our director. He's backstage right now. Simon Fox and Skittles, both of the AV staff. Spyco Tech or Turkwolf, I'm sorry, of the AV staff. Trent Slightly is our data master. Wild Fox, our assistant director. Will is our AV staff. And I'd like to wish Adi, if he can hear us or say or hear anything for us, we wish you well. He's here. Dude. Oh, we awesome. love you, Adi. Thank you for coming, man. You don't know the miracles this guy pulls. And I'm Rain, I'm out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to the 2015 Midwest Fur Fest Furry Variety Show. Thank you very much for coming, everybody. Good night. Come on out, everybody.
us next year. We do have an email address, fds at furbest.org. Please email us if you want to be in the show next year. Thank you, everybody.